Actor Michael Rappaport signals shift on Trump after years of fervent opposition. He says, my political views have changed. Now, just as a refresher here, this guy absolutely, absolutely hated Donald Trump. He called him pig dick Donald Trump. He just kept saying that over and over again. He was awful. Absolutely awful. And to be honest, he still is kind of awful, right? But he's it, it appears he's reached that line, which sane people will eventually get to, where things are affecting them to the point where the policies that they've been voting for are affecting them to the point where they just they just have to embrace reality. It's where woke meets reality and reality just has a better argument. But just to remind you, like here, actor Michael Rappaport uses Mother's Day to attack the Trump family. So when was this from? This was from um, 10th of May, 2020. So this guy really hated Trump. He said, happy Mother's Day. I hope you're a better mother than you are first lady. You're useless as a first lady, literally. He's... And that's just retarded. He says, effing pig, the real people want to get back to work ASAP. You never worked a day in your life. You're worried about the next four years. Uh, mf -er, blah, 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 just totally unhinged and crazy, right? So he, he absolutely hated Trump. But something has changed. And the thing that's changed is I think that he's realized um, the people on the left don't like him. They don't like him, and they don't like him for a very specific reason. My political views have changed immensely. I will not vote for Joe Biden. At this point, when we're doing this interview, voting for Trump is on the table. People are like, what are you talking about? That's my reality. I will not support anybody who's anti-Israel. I will not support anybody that is anti-making America safe, that is cool with the fact that it, I got to show my ID at least three or four times at the airport, but it takes you two minutes to cross the border. I'm not down with that shit. I'm not down with police officers in the greatest city on earth getting beaten up. You're a legal immigrant and then you have no bail. I'm not and flipping off the camera, flipping off the fucking camera. I'm not down with going into a Costco or a 7-Eleven cleaning out the spot. So any of these people that support it, I'm not I'm not voting for them. I'm not getting caught up or suckered into these race politics or any of that bullshit anymore. So anti-Israel stuff, which is. You know, the, a lot of the Democrats have allied themselves with, with uh, people who more than just don't like Israel, right? How should we put this? Um, they don't like Israel, but they even more than that don't like Israel or the people that are in Israel. Crime. He's not, he lives in New York City. He's seeing it, right? He talks about, you know, the illegal immigrants that uh, beat up the cops and were out on bail the next day. And then, Illegal immigration in general, you know, resources going to people that um, he doesn't feel that they should go to because they're not citizens because they're in the country illegally. So these are his lines. These are the lines. This is this was his line where he went, hold on a second. Um, I'm seeing like a lot of genocidal hatred <laughs> and it's coming from institutions like leftist institutions like Harvard and Yale. And I think a lot of people, Jewish people are waking up to that frankly. And I don't know why they didn't wake up to it sooner. Maybe it's just because leftism has always been so fashionable. You know, it, 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 you know, this leftist bubble. But I think a lot of a lot of them are waking up now to, you know, the people they thought were their friends are not their friends. And they're certainly allying themselves with people who are definitely not their friends. So, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Um, again, I don't think that Michael Rappaport has become much better of a person. I think he's still awful. But I'm just saying he's he's at least woken up to reality, you know, and and realized the people that he thought were his friends are not his friends and they don't give a shit. Certainly the Democrats don't give a shit. They're definitely not his friends. And he's waking up. How many people will wake up? I don't know. Judging by the polls in the uh, in the states, the presidential uh, polls, presidential race polls, um, seems like I mean, Trump's in the lead, including in the swing states. So seems like a lot of people are waking up.